Hey everyone, it's Chad Camp, your Alabama land agent. Be sure to subscribe to this channel because we're always posting videos and also to make sure you don't miss a video, hit the, noti hit the bell for the notifications. Also, we're going to start posting two videos at least a week, um, updates on properties that we have that have changed that maybe you've already seen as well as listings as, as they come available um, for posting. Uh, today we've got a really unique property. It's two acres with a metal building. It's got office space finished upstairs with the bathrooms. It's got unfinished space downstairs like a warehouse. It's in Odenville, Alabama. Uh, you might be able to use it as an office, but you also might want to use it as a um, barn dominium possibly and then maybe later build you something else if you wanted to down the road. So stay tuned and enjoy this video. Thank you. This is a very unique property in Odenville, Alabama. It's a warehouse style butler building with office space upstairs. It does have two acres and the property or the building actually is at the very or close kind of midway to near the back of the property. But it's on Blair Farm Road, Odenville, Alabama. It's between Highway 174 and Highway 411. Very convenient to I-59 there on 174 to Springville. Or Kelly Creek Road to get to I-20. Or you can go to Pell City down 174 to 231 if you need to get to I-20 to go to Atlanta, Georgia. But it's very convenient. Again, it's two acres with this building. It's approximately 1,200 square feet footprint so you've got 1200 square feet downstairs and upstairs and we're going to walk in the building in just a moment but what's unique about this you know you're only two hours from montgomery alabama you're 30 minutes 30 to 35 minutes from birmingham you're only about 40 minutes to anniston alabama and you're two hours from Atlanta, georgia and you're also two hours from chattanooga and two hours from huntsville alabama so you're very convenient um, if you're looking for something like this, but what's unique about the area too is you have the Mustang Museum Which we're going to show you a clip of that in just a second and um, And that's just just right behind the property almost through the woods and that's unique if you've never seen it It's a Mustang Museum and then on this road on Blair Farm you got the community or the St. Clair County um, Arena where they do a lot of rodeos. So it's kind of a really unique area that this little small building comes on the property, but you got approximately around 1,200 square feet on the bottom as well as the top. And we're going to walk in and let you look, but this is a flat piece of property, so you got room to expand or build a house. Maybe you have a looking to, to build a house in the future and need your business or a place where you can do something, or maybe you just want a workshop. This could easily be it, or maybe you live upstairs, and you'll see that in just a moment. But it's a steel metal building. You've got an office downstairs. you got this roll-up door. It's concrete floor. Now, I'm told the septic tank's in the back behind the building but you've got this um, eye beam that comes across the middle of this to help support the floor joists upstairs also hey don't forget to uh, share this video in case you're not interested in the property sharing it does help also subscribe and hit the bell to get this notification on the next video but you got that office space there which is really nice if you needing people to meet you but you don't want them to come upstairs it'd be a great place to do that there you've got a bathroom already here so you can kind of have employees to use it use this bathroom if you didn't want them to go upstairs that's a plus and you got the utility sink there but we're going to go upstairs and let you look at the office area but it is heated and cooled so that's a plus if you like to take a look at this property just be sure to contact me we will be happy to do that but you do have water and, and of course the power is alabama power for here um, you could easily, if you needed to make this a accessible wheelchair, you could actually put a little, you know, kind of like one of those push elevators that rises up. But when you walk in, you walk in to where the front door is to the left here, and that takes you out to the front porch. And we'll walk out there in just a second. But these are the bathrooms here that uh, men and women, or if you were going to do a barnuminium, you could actually go in here and just, you know, make this one large bathroom if you needed to do that. But lots of opportunity. You can see nice little bathroom there um, for an office. And then you have the other bathroom here for the office. We're trying to get open up the door to get in. 
but you've got that there. It's pretty much the same thing that you saw next door, but you do have a small little kitchen here. It's just a small little kitchenette where you don't have a stove. That's something, or a dishwasher. That's something that you would have to do, but it's a nice little spot. There's a lot of things that you can do with it. It's approximately like three offices up here. Then you got two little meeting rooms here that are, don't have a door, or you could actually make them an office. You know, you need to case in your door if you wanted to do that or just have a meeting room. So you could easily grow it from three to four to five offices if you needed to, or like I say, or bedrooms. Now there's no closet, so if you were going to do it, you'd have to build some closets and and that sort of thing there. That little area right there, it looks like a little boxed-in area. That's the roll-up door. That's why this room's like that, is, is obviously they had to build up and around that. Now, the present owners, they didn't, they didn't finish this out. This is kind of already finished when they got it uh, many years ago. The only reason why they're selling is they changed locations. They went from Odenville to another area. That's the only reason why they're selling it. It's just they've changed uh, the areas that they're going to be working in. And um, then you have this back porch at the back, and which is a pretty view looking out. Again, there's what's great about this area, there's a lot of nice houses over here. Nice homes. That's We're kind of looking in the direction of 174 there. Um, we're looking back through the woods towards Highway 411 in that direction. The, this open field is on the property, septic tank somewhere back in here. You've got a, There is a garden on the property. He's already told me that 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 you know that the neighbor puts a garden there, so that's something you probably would want to talk about. But um, but you got this nice little porch here that could be closed in or you know screened in. That's the HVAC. It's a for, kind of like a little forest air unit there. But then you've got this little building over here, which is kind of nice to have for storage, and that's kind of what they used it for. It is wired, but they used it for some additional storage. Um, outside of the building down below but it's a very level piece of property again it's very convenient to birmingham it's convenient to the interstates um that's what makes this great you can kind of get in this area here is kind of like the hub of st Clair county odenville is because in odenville you can go and be anywhere in the county in about 30 minutes or less and that's what's great about it. It's kind of like a hub because you can go to Springfield to get on I-59. You can go to Moody um, to get on I-20. You can be in Asheville and Raglan in no time, or you can be in Pell City. There's no other town in St. Clair County that you can be at any place within 30 minutes. This is why this is kind of a, kind of a neat central location area. Nice little area that you can finish and put storage or do some other things here that you might like to do. Um, it's got a lot of opportunity, again, as a barnuminium, if you wanted to, the metal building, and live in it, and then have your garage downstairs, or use it as a building and build you a house out front if you wanted to. The price that they're asking on this is $165,000 for the two acres in this building here. If you'd like to look at the property, we'd be happy to show it. You had, saw my number below, but if you'll click down in the notes or look down below somewhere there will be a link that will take you to this particular property and that way you can see it thanks again for watching have a great day